Are you a funny guy? Um, well, I've been trying to, you know, I've been trying to say that for a long time now. No one will listen. I, I was so nervous. I walked up to him. I said, uh, Don, I'm Ryan. And he, and he went, what do you want me to do? Uh, get up and shoot a rocket out of my pants. <laughs> An ex-girlfriend of mine used to wa want to watch your uh, show in bed every night. And if I ever got a little handsy, right. I'd get smacked. And she would say, after Conan. Do you say these things? Do you want to say any of these things? I write them, actually. <laughs> it's my site. I didn't feel like I was getting enough. That wasn't I mean, romantic? Come on, let's get sensitive, man. OK, all right. <laughs> I mean, I even loved him in that Over the Hedge movie. Yeah. When he played that squirrel that liked energy drinks. What, was that just he, a style? He insists, he insists on it. He insists on it for the summer? Well, like 10 years ago, I shaved a mohawk, you know, just for the summer. Yeah, of course. And then every time it started to grow out, he turned into a total jerk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's one of me, like, looking at some ducks. Right. And I'm, like, in some kind of a... Some kind of, like, a Star Trek jacket. I don't know why I have that. <laughs> and... And it says, hey, girl, I'm just sitting on the dock of the bay. Wishing I could waste the rest of the day with you instead of these ducks. And I said to him, you know, like, well, what was, what was Frank like? And he said, what was Frank like? He said, one time, I'm in the bar. Frank comes in, gets two handfuls of goldfish crackers, runs outside. I go outside. Frank's lying in the grass. He's crumpling up the crackers on an anthill. I said, Frank, what are you doing? He says, the ants got to eat too, Tony. <laughs> I really wanted him to direct the film, and I, when I met with him, it just went so bad. It was like the worst meeting. He, was, he didn't look at me, he wouldn't talk to me, he just kind of stared off into the distance. It was like a bad date. Right. And so I wanted to get out of there. So I said, I'm going home. You know, if you're not going to talk to me, then beat it, you know? And so he said, well, okay, but I need a ride home because I can't drive. <laughs> I said, how are you going to make a movie called Drive if you can't even drive? All right. Hey, girl, sorry my shirt fell off. <laughs> <laughs> let's, see, let's hear another. Come on, one more. And Diane works here, in fact. Mm -hmm. Said that they were about to get on the 10 on the freeway in Santa Monica, and you pulled up next to them, or somebody who looked like you pulled up next to them, and handed them a several boxes of Girl Scout cookies, <laughs> and then drove off. And as... You drove off, Daniel said, I think that was Ryan Gosling. And his wife said, yeah, I think that was Ryan Gosling. So was that Ryan Gosling? <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at it the time. It wasn't you? Oh, it was you. Yeah, look, I regret it. <laughs> I knew you were a kid dancer. <laughs> There's something about me that says kid. I can kid. tell a kid dancer. I can, I can spot one from a mile away. That's the creepiest thing anyone's ever seen. <laughs> Old Blue Eyes has charmed them again. Well, actually, it's a little... Were you Photoshopped? Yes. No. Yeah. It's actually, it's a program that James Cameron has come up with. It's called Avatar. <laughs> and you just put on this, like, jumpsuit, and there's, like, six ping pong balls. And then when you do scenes, you suddenly, magically have muscles. Why the move? Well, well I turned 30. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, you don't legally have to move to New York when you turn 30, though. You just felt like a change? Well, everybody told me that I would feel different, and I just didn't. So I thought, I'll do something different. So you feel different. So I feel different. <laughs> For her. You just... know, by the way, what's going on between you and my girlfriend? <laughs> I have to admit something. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I didn't try the suit on before I came out. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized that it's... It's so tight. <laughs> that was so neat. The people of Disney are so incredibly amazing. They are so nice. Mm -hmm. They treated us like we were kings and queens. Like we came from our, just our houses where we had to do our own stuff and they did so much stuff for us. It was just so neat. Are you gonna show me your abs? I don't have any ab muscles. Let me do the private act. I don't, well, can you buy me a drink first or something? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Just suddenly there was, a, there was all this cellophane in our basement. Okay. And he wanted me to sell it. He wanted you to sell to cellophane? To help him sell it. 
What do people do with cellophane? You know, it's like plastic wrap. You wrap sandwiches in it, or you like can, saran wrap. Yeah, saran wrap. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. So I was like taking it to school in my backpack. I'm trying to sell it to the kids at school. <laughs> I'm trying to sell it to my teachers. <laughs> and then when I couldn't get rid of it, I thought I'll go outside of the supermarket and I'll just wait till people with their food because they're gonna need to wrap it. <laughs> Ryan, let's see your face. Come it's on. So f okay. Look, if you have to lose your comedic virginity, you want to lose it to Steve Carell. He's, he's very gentle. But anyway, I had a fantasy that one day someone would buy all of it. You know? Like and some you guy would, would just come along and be like, I'll take it all. <laughs> Which never happened. Uh -huh. So I was walking out of Ralph's one day and I saw these kids who were trying to sell their cookies and I was like, I'll take them all. And so I bought but I hundreds and hundreds of boxes. <laughs> I didn't realize how many boxes I was gonna have. I had a car full of them. I didn't know what to do. So I started just like throwing them out the window <laughs> to people on the street. Dug deep down to those Mickey Mouse Club <laughs> roots. I mean, that paid off in a big way on this particular film. Oddly enough, I thought my background in 90s hip hop would help. Mm -hmm. But it, it doesn't it? translate. <laughs> Get down. Get down, George. Okay. Gosh, oh my God. What a He's more guy. interesting than I am, so I just thought it would be helpful. No, that's not true. Well, first of all, I always wanted to make a character that people would go out for on Halloween. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I'm really crossing my fingers on this one. Yeah. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a, 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 a movie about Hey Girl. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> well, 90s hip hop just doesn't seem to translate into soft shoe. Yeah, it doesn't see. matter how many times you thread the needle. Where does my hand go? Now, let me tell you. <laughs> now my, my forefinger and my thumb are going to start talking to your lower back. <laughs> it is? So I need your lower back to just pay attention, all right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I sat in the audience once. You sat in the audience of uh, a talk show? Yes. Uh, how long ago was this? Mm, late 90s. Late 90s. I okay. think so. No, yeah. or, no, it doesn't matter. I sat in it. That's the point. So I thought, okay, I had some fantasy about it being something like, you know, like pom pom being waved with palm leaves and, uh, yeah, and yeah, having yeah. fed grapes. <laughs> and uh, it's not that at all. It's just like a big hairy Turkish guy that washes you with the bar of soap. I don't know what I'm looking at. Stop, looking at Stop for a second. Stop the music. Who are you looking at? I, I thought I was... Are you dancing with over there or are you dancing with me? I'm dancing with you. <laughs> I should be dancing with you, right? Yes. Okay, I'm it's sorry. It's not about this, it's about this. <laughs> okay. There was a guy in high school who had uh, driven to the David Letterman show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he waited outside, and when the camera passed by him, he acted like he was having a seizure. <laughs> and he got on the, he made the cut, and uh, he has never bought a drink for himself since. It was like a big, this made him famous yes, in your town? Harry Fallon. Uh -huh. And then he tries to connect my, uh, my, my right foot to my left arm. <laughs> and he's, he's trying to connect them like this. And I'm in such pain, I go uh, like that. Yeah. And, it, and, his, and his belly goes in my mouth. <laughs> I want to feel like I'm the only person in the room. <laughs> Should we clear Does everyone no out? Matter? All the people who are boring right now. The world melts away. All right. It's just you and I. Okay. All right. I'm locked in. Get in here. All right. OK. Uh, give her a tip. Okay, yeah. I feel like it's going well. I, th I think that there needs to be a little tension, like a little conflict. <laughs> Here, I'll, okay, ask her a question. Uh, so, you say you're from Westminster? Or is that a nice town? I like you. <laughs> I like your suit. Do they make it for men? <laughs> I'm like getting more and more soupy as the night goes on. And by the end of the night, I'm like, I look around, everyone's wearing white hats and I feel like I've fallen down the rabbit hole because they all have these white rabbits. <laughs> and I look at the TV screen and Russell's on the TV accepting this trophy and he's got his arm around me uh, in Atlanta. What? And I just said, uh, thank you for a lovely night. And I said, <laughs> I gotta get home, just get home. I got home and in the morning I got to set and they were like, yeah, that was a taped game. <laughs> Have you been to a taping of this show before? Once. Oh. Yep. <laughs> he shows me how to tip him with imaginary money. Uh, we rehearse it. I can't believe we're rehearsing in the nude. I'm like, I gotta get out of here. Then he gives me to another guy, wraps me in so many towels, it's like I've been slingshot through a bed, bath and beyond. <laughs> I'm just 
just like, I just got to get the hell out. I feel sick. I go to my room. I get to the locker. I put the money in. I'm ready to go. I come out. He goes like this, you know. I go, all right. I give him the money. I think it's done. I turn around, and the guy that, um, you know, wrapped me in all the towels yeah. goes, like, you, he wants he's to get too. But I'm like, I thought I wasn't supposed to take out money. You know, I, I thought it was a secret. It's a secret. It was, it was so I take out eye. money, and it turns out it's fine. So the whole rehearsal was just for nothing. <laughs> And I give this guy money, I don't have enough. I said, can I get change from one guy? He gives me change. And then I give him the change, and I turn around, the guy who gave me change is like, this. <laughs> and I was just like, you know what, here. You got a big mouth and you just like to run it. <laughs> My little girl was born. He sent me a, uh, a, um, a gift certificate for Toys R Us. Did he really? Yes, and it said, um, he said, don't worry, you'll get another job. Kids are expensive. <laughs> sure you can, from what I gather. That... Well, you know what? There has to be some surprise. So why don't you watch the show, and then you get to see me perform. 